Hi, I'm Kai and today we have a look on the motor terminal block. The motor terminal block is a very special terminal where you can connect directly a motor on one terminal. The terminal exists out of four levels, three for the three phases L1, L2, L3 and the fourth level for the PE. The PE is directly connected to the DIN rail so that you don't need to wire this on the internal side. There is also no connection on the internal side. And how to handle this is part of this video. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications so that you don't miss any new video. And now let's have a look how to handle motor terminal blocks in ePlan. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create our own motor terminal to connect this motor here. That means we go to the tab master data and to management. And here after, under parts, electrical engineering, components, terminals. And here on the terminals, we make a right click and new. So we start to create our own terminal. So we change here to the tab properties. Make sure that you have, when you want to add values or properties to your parts, here the filter not set to filled properties. You should have it to all properties to see also the empty one. So we start with the part number. I call it Kai Motor Terminal. just to find it later when we want to use it. For sure you can add other properties here as well. Then we change to the tab function template and here we need to add some functions. So we go here to the new button, to the plus and select some functions. What we need to do is now we need to add the four levels and we start with the top one. So we go here to electrical engineering, terminal, terminal and we select a terminal with saddle jumper and two connection points and we use here this one. So we click OK and have it now here. This is one level and we need additional three so we click on plus plus and plus and what we know from this terminal is that the last level, what is basically the first level when we count it, is not a terminal with settle jumper two connection points, it's a specific one, it's the PE terminal. And the PE terminal has not two connection points, it has just one. So we go here to terminal with settle jumper one connection point and select here the PE terminal with rail contact one connection point. So the counting of the levels is the same like at home on your house. You start from the ground level to the roof level to the top level. That means here we have the PE terminal and we add to the level here number one, two, three and four. And we have here some more things which we can add. I also add here for the PE terminal the connection point description. PE. I show you later what's the benefit of it when we use it here. In the next step, we want to add the connection point designations. And in ePlan, it starts always from the lowest level, from the internal side to the external side, and on an alphabetic way. That means here we would use A and B. By the way, this divider here is done with Control and Enter on your keyboard, but because we have on the PE terminal no internal side, we delete A and keep it empty. And for the next level, we start with the internal side C and D for external, E and F and G and H. So this is something we see later on our drawings and it make it unique to find the connection point on your terminal. So that's basically everything what you need to do for our motor terminal block. We click apply and have now here our Kai motor terminal and close it. Yeah, we want to synchronize our project with our database. 
And when we go now to the insert center, for example, and search for Kai, I luckily don't have so many parts with Kai, means it will be easy to find it. I can here directly find Kai motor terminal and use it here in our drawing. You see in the brackets some description, for example, four means it's the level four, what is the first one, L1. By the way, you can also use the on your keyboard uh, N. So by pressing N on your keyboard, you can shift or you can move to the next function in your function template. So we start with the highest level four, what is for L1, and you can also see the connection point designation H and G. G for the inter internal side and H for the external side. And then it jumps directly to the next one, to the next one, and to our PE. So I know that not all people like to use numbers on each four levels. Some people still like to explain that the PE terminal is the PE terminal. Basically, you should use numbers, unique numbers for each connection in your drawings and not use PE here. But because we have added also the PE on the connection point, we can go here to connection point tab and add the value for the connection point description, what we have added in our uh, function template. So we can use it, I shift it to the top and click OK. And then you have a small hint here that it's also the PE. So with Control B on your keyboard, we can also move it a little bit to the side. And then it's clear for the maintenance stuff or whatever that this is a PE terminal. When we have now a look on our terminal stripe navigator, so we go to the device and the navigator, and we make here a right click and click on synchronize selection, you can also see that we have our terminals here. And when we make a right click here and go to edit, you also can see here the four levels are in one terminal, which is pretty cool to use it directly. So we want to add some more terminals. We make a right click and click on new terminals. We want to add under the terminal stripe X2 some more. So we need to select here the part number. I have already the part number for this terminal here. And we need to give some numbering pattern. So we have already used one to four. That means we want to start with five. And we can number, for example, to 12. So we click OK. And now you see that Eblan added in total two more terminals here. And we can directly place it. We mark it here. Right click and place in our drawings. So here, because of the symbol we need to make an interruption here so we click Control, shift and u and can place it here so if you have further question about motor terminals in eplan write me a comment i try to answer it soon and until the next video i recommend you to watch this video and if you like the video please drop a like don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications looking forward to see you on my next video